I was born to rock and roll Believe in the music that'll free my soul I'm such a normal guy I'm such a normal guy You are watching postmodern MTV And you're watching me I'm just a normal guy so XTC, Concrete Blonde, and me, Robin Hitchcock. Meanwhile, here comes Morrissey and his brand new song, Interesting Drug. Interesting Morrissey, take it away! It's a Raymond Chandler evening at the end of Robin Hitchcock, postmodern MTV, try and tell the difference. You know, one of the big problems I think that we all have to face in the music industry and indeed on music TV is sorting out the perfect state of being. People often come up to me and say, detachment versus immersion. Which one do you plump for, Robin? Pantheism versus psychedelia. And I think long and hard, and I rack various things. And I have to think that basically, if you're inside something, there is something else around outside you. But presumably, there's something else around outside that. So you're talking at least three layers here. Now, your TV screen's only going to show you a certain bit, so there's no point me going right up like this, because it's just going to vanish completely, and your sense of perspective is just going to send you thudding into the ground very fast. Which is why I try and avoid those kind of topics, you know. Instead, I would like to say that the Pixies are going to perform Here Comes Your Man on video now. I gave America your name And she typed it on the scene I gave America your kiss And she blew it over That was me. And you are... I forget your exact name, you know, but you're watching postmodern MTV, so that gives you a little bit of an existential basis. I was talking to my grandma uh, the other day, and she said, she's been dead for a while, she said, what are they going to have in 20 years' time? And I said, well, they're going to have this holographic version of uh, records. You just belong to a, a video club, and you put it, or an audio video club, and you put it into the wall, a little socket in the wall, where you put your little bank charge and your... Uh, your, your whole items that, that fit into a computer network. I'm not a technical person, but I'm under extreme pressure, so occasionally I get garbled. Okay, mellow out, grand. And uh, you're going to have this little cube you put in the wall, and Sergeant Pepper is going to appear, not actually before your eyes. It's not even going to be like tape to tape, DAT or anything. It's going to appear neurally in your brain. You won't use air molecules or, or ears or any of those old-fashioned linkage methods or people like me filling in space between one clip and another, it will appear nearly right there in the big L, the frontal lobe. And when will you be then? You'll be at home, won't you? So I said, maybe I'll join you, Gran. And joining us all soon is Concrete Blonde and God is a Bullet. And who can argue? Archer. Thank God I don't really look like that. Yes, it's postmodern MTV and I'm Robin Hitchcock. Just made a record que called Queen Elvis. Uh, people wondered why, you know, it's not implying that Elvis was gay or that I was Elvis or that the Queen was gay or that I'm a Queen or that Queens are gay or that gay people are gay or anything like that or that people aren't real because who are? All I say speak the simple word to bring you out that tiny breath of bottle lip, you sweet kiss thing, mmm, clutching those hairs, is basically taking you a tendril, my baby pup. See, smite old doggy doggy fly through the side thing, I say a various door, she pull out the trap and say no, escaping the rubber. I couldn't, you see, no friends purchasing. <laughs> well, which leads me on neatly to, they might be giants and here they come. I've been Hitchcock again, as you can see, from the way I was wandering around on the table in various pieces. And here we are on the Postmodern Top 5 Videos of the Week show on Postmodern MTV, the show coming up to number two. You're going to say The Cure, Fascination Street. Why not? They're coming up. My daughter is a really big fan of The Cure. 
I don't know too much about them, but then, I mean, you just cannot have parents and children into the same thing, otherwise it's creepy. I mean, the old days of dad teaching son to fish and all cutting off each other's heads in the same room is long gone, and I often remember I used to sit there, my father would have a cricket bat, and he'd say, when I thump you over the head with it, you have no enthusiasm. I said, that's because I want a rock and roll, dad. He said, fair enough. So now if my daughter wants to light the cure, I'm not bothered. I'm still listening to the incredible string band and I've been ever since 1967. Of course, in those days, you could buy a lot for a shilling. Shilling, huh, no problem. Two bob sixpence if you like. Sherbet dab and sucker down the old bus stop with Elaine Portman, no trouble. Picking off those bits of gum from the wall, eating them for free, that was the life. None of this rock star business in those days, I don't know. Anyway, here's the cure.